Can red light therapy help with achy joints and muscles? Hi, I'm Dr. Chen. Welcome to the Loombox channel where I share science-based information about red light therapy. Red light therapy has become very popular in the last 10 years now, and for very good reasons. There are now more than 2,000 published studies on PubMed looking at various health benefits of red light therapy. And today we're going to focus on pain relief. And I do have a more in-depth video on how red light therapy works please go check that out. But first, what is red light therapy? And how can light possibly help with pain? Red light therapy is the use of very specific wavelengths of light, typically in the red and near infrared range, because these are the wavelengths that can penetrate skin better and reach our cells and the deeper tissues like joints to bring about health benefits. When red or near infrared light hits our cells, they activate the powerhouses inside of our cells called mitochondria. If you remember back to high school biology days, the mitochondria are the powerhouses inside our cells that take the food we eat and turn it into energy in the form of ATP for our cells. And in order for cells in our body to carry out their jobs, they need energy. For example, our muscles need energy to contract and our joints need energy to repair. Now, beyond activating the mitochondria to produce more energy and ATP, red and near infrared light also has other functions. It's been shown in studies to help improve blood circulation by increasing nitric oxide, which will allow nutrients, immune cells, repair cells to come to any um, sites of injury. Studies also suggest red light therapy has an effect on our immune system and can modulate inflammation, which is oftentimes a root cause of pain. There's even a study that suggested red light therapy may directly influence the pain signaling molecules and therefore help to temporarily reduce the perception of pain in nerve fibers. And we need more studies on all of this, but it's super fascinating. Now, the treatment of pain is always multifaceted meaning I don't believe there is one magic bullet. And I think it's very important that you work with your doctor to find out the root cause of your pain. And this is definitely not medical advice, but red light therapy may be a beneficial adjunct to provide some temporary relief, reduce inflammation and stiffness, but definitely be guided by your doctor. I'm sure you're now dying to look at some studies. So let's take a look. Before we do that, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss valuable videos teaching you how to benefit from red light therapy. In this study of 50 people, they used red, infrared, or a fake light device, which looked like red light therapy, to act as a placebo. These devices were applied to two points on the knees of patients with osteoarthritis for 15 minutes a day. And in the group that used the fake light, there was no difference in pain score. However, in both the red and near infrared light groups, there was a 50% reduction in pain scores and improvement in function. Now, in this other study of patients with back pain, they used near infrared light on the back or a fake light on the back. And they showed that those who use near infrared light had a 50% reduction in their, their pain score. And what's really interesting is that the reduction in pain was more significant towards the end of the seven week study, meaning the longer they used it, the better re the reduction in pain. Now, if you go on PubMed and typed in photobiomodulation, you'll find studies on red light therapy in knee pain, ankle pain, tennis elbow, and so on. And what you'll notice is that most of the studies used infrared light because this is the wavelength that penetrates deep tissues better. But I'm going to be honest with you, not all the studies show the benefit. And I think this is down to the dose of light being used because the effect or the efficacy of red light therapy kind of depends on the dose of light. But also everybody has different root causes of pain. And so that's why I said it was very important to work with your doctor and find out the root cause as well. But we all respond to different doses of light, just like we all need different doses of vitamin D. But treating deeper tissues like joints and muscles require powerful units and powerful light. Whereas if you're just treating the skin, you need less dosage of light. Luckily, Loombox is very powerful and you can check it out in the link below the video. And if you want guidance on how to pick a better device, 
We have a free ebook linked below that teaches you what to look for and how best to use your red light therapy. And be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of red light therapy in the next video.